Right now, about 6.8 million miles from Earth, which is about 28 times the distance to our moon, a NASA spacecraft is about to slam into an asteroid. That's if all goes as planned, and if it does, we'll see it happen live in a matter of moments. This first-of-its-kind mission is aimed directly at the space rock in an attempt to change its trajectory. The DART spacecraft, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, launched 10 months ago. If it works, DART may give humanity a chance to avoid a potentially cataclysmic asteroid impact. Eric Pitts joins us now. He is chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute. So, Derek, I want to just start with the math problem on the board because I can't stop thinking about this. How complicated is the equation that allows you to shoot a rocket to intercept another thing moving in another direction? Uh, this will really give you a headache, John. It's This is the kind of thing that makes your head explode because... You know, we're trying to hit an object that is the size of one and a half football fields with an object that's about the size of a refrigerator. And I, one of the things I find most impressive is that we have not even seen Dimorphos before the DART spacecraft first picked it up a few minutes ago. So uh, not only is the spacecraft on target, uh, not only does it see it, but it's on target for an impact in just a few minutes. This is not like the word problems in my math book in school. Uh, what, does, no. what does NASA hope to learn from this, uh, this mission, whether it hits or not, which is, I suppose, one of the things they hope to learn is whether they can hit it at all. Yeah, NASA figures that uh, their chances of hitting this are somewhere between 91 and 99 percent. That's what they think their accuracy is. And it looks like they're on target here. So what they really hope to do is, with this very small impact or the size of a refrigerator, what they want to do is they want to change the velocity of the, uh, of the asteroid. They don't want to redirect it so much as they want to slow it down. It's orbiting around a larger asteroid. And by recognizing the difference between its current speed and the speed after the impact, NASA will be able to determine that using what they call a kinetic impactor, a large object that they can just throw onto the asteroid, they'll be able to tell if this is a method that can be used to possibly redirect asteroids that could be uh, headed toward Earth at some point in the future. There's nothing headed toward Earth right now. We don't need to worry about that. That's not what ha what's happening here. This is just a test to see if this might be one way we could deflect asteroids from striking Earth in the future. And I, I gather, Derek, we're probably 30 seconds or less from potential impact here. So we'll, uh, we'll keep a close eye on that. Um, why did we? Why did NASA target uh, Didymus, a double asteroid system? Does it? Does it? You said it didn't pose any particular risk. So, but why was it chosen? It was chosen because it's nearby, not too far away, so the spacecraft can get there easily. It's close enough and bright enough that this can be imaged by ground-based telescopes, and that way we can study it in so many different ways. So uh, it's going to cover the last four miles of its trip in just a second, and we can see the asteroid coming, uh, becoming larger and larger in the view as we get closer and closer. And so, Derek, what are we seeing? Are we basically the eyeball at the tip of the spear here as it heads towards yes. uh, the asteroid? So as it's getting closer, that's not some focal lens. That's the speed of the rocket headed, heading towards the one and a half football fields. Yes, that's right. And there is a small delay due to the, to the transmission. And once we see the image cut out, no more image, that's when we know it will have impacted. And there it is right up close. And that's it. That 91 to 99 percent estimation on NASA's part, it seems like they were uh, exactly right. That looks, there you go, and they're cheering. We have a live shot from NASA. How, how does that make you feel, Derek? Uh, I'm really elated that uh, NASA mounted a mission like this. This is an incredibly important thing to do. This region of the solar system where we live right now, uh, there are thousands of asteroids in this area of the solar system. None of them are on a collision course with Earth. And in fact, NASA studies have indicated that there are no large asteroids on a collision course uh, with Earth for at least 100 years. So that's a good thing. But any small asteroids that could, in a sense, ruin your day, so to speak, a smaller asteroid, we would want to be able to redirect that if we can. And this is the first step in developing a system that will allow us to better protect the planet against uh, asteroids like this. 
And so as a final question, Derek, is the in the ultimate uh, conception of this program, and we're watching here uh, as the lights go out on the camera as it makes impact, um, getting that one last uh, shot of the asteroid there, it, is the ultimate hope here that basically there are vehicles, rockets that are kind of ready to go um, so they can be used relatively quickly? And if that's the case, how quickly would it be? Or is it really, we'll always know with sufficient uh, lead time, so these are, these are long-term projects? Well, that's a great question, but there are a couple of components to this. Number one, we have the space survey system that NASA is employing along with a number of the other space agencies around the planet to try to identify and catalog asteroids out there that could pose a problem for Earth. And we want to be able to know about these as early as possible, as far ahead of time as possible, so that we can then uh, mount a defense. And that defense might be something like this, in which a spacecraft of the appropriate size, early enough, can be sent out to uh, crash into an asteroid and possibly redirect it. If we can just slow an asteroid down, that can be enough to cause its course to drift off such that it won't hit Earth. So those two pieces go together really nicely to help protect the planet. Absolutely. Derek Pitts, thank you so much for joining me for this Demolition Derby. Thanks, John.